Hello, my name is Collection Connoisseur. I collect digital thingamabobs in video games, and today I'm playing Hollow Knight. Last time on Hollow Knight, we did a bunch of things, mostly involving visiting characters and getting rewards. This time, I want to go back to the Soul Sanctum, which is... I guess the best way to get there is by going up. So we're going to go up. But first, let me look at my charms. I think I think this is a pretty good set. But I'm going to take off the quick focus for now. It's good, but I think that it's good in boss battles a lot more than it is good for just regular exploring around. So, I'm going back to the Soul Sanctum, and my goal while I'm there... Oops. I was trying to use my... I was trying to use my Great Slash there, and it charged up a little bit too slow. I thought it was going to be faster than it was. And that's because of one of the things that we got last time. We got a charm that I'm wearing that increases the usefulness of the Nail Sage abilities. Which I am still getting used to using, clearly. Let's see here. I think... I think one of the things that I should do is use this Wait a minute. I think I, I think I pressed the wrong down. All right. So we, I pressed it down to set a waypoint. That's one of the many rewards I got last time. The Dream Gate, a new spell in which I can set those little waypoints, which I can fast travel to later. And I'm going to try to use it this episode. Mostly so that I get familiar with using it, so that I can use it more effectively later. So I'm going to very intentionally use it a couple times this episode, just to get used to it. Did I hit something over here? No. Alright, I told you that I was going back to the Soul Sanctum. My goals for while I'm in the Soul Sanctum are to search for secrets, That's that should be obvious, but also, since we haven't been here in a little while, it's a good time to search for secrets. I would like to complete more of the Hunter's Journal for various enemies that only show up in the Soul Sanctum, and I would like to try my hand at fighting the hard version of the Soul Master boss. Which I'm... I'm very confident that there's a hard version of the Soul Master boss. So... I'm going to be checking my map a little bit more often. And my purpose in checking my map... And you know what? This is probably a good time to try out... To be... So I'm setting a new waypoint. I'm trying to try out the Dream Gate. I'm setting a waypoint there. And the reason I'm setting a waypoint there is so that I can go to the left here. And once I'm done going to the left, I can go back to that waypoint immediately. Trying this out is going to involve... I, I'll explain that in a second. Trying this out is going to, going to involve a lot more planning and a lot less wandering than I normally do. Ooh, looks like I just found a secret that I hadn't seen before. Oh, how about that? It's a secret entrance to the Soul Sanctum. That's cool. Not what I was expecting to find as a secret, but still, that's cool. Oh my. I wonder if this is where we use the elegant key. Yes! That is wonderful. 
I have been wondering where to use that key. So, we're in a new area already. Whoa. So, this is a boss. Is it a boss that we fought before? It kinda seems like something we may have fought before. Although, I really need to... I really need to figure out his pattern so I don't just die right here. Whoa, okay. Well, we just died right there. But luckily, I saved at this bench and I opened a shortcut. So we can go right back. I probably should have changed to the quick focus, but... Oh well. I'm pretty sure this guy isn't too hard. Oh my. His spell keeps going. It needs to hit a wall for it to stop. I'm doing a lot better this time, of course. I feel like we fought an enemy like this before. I mean, his moves are very similar to the Soul Master's moves, but... Also, I feel like we fought an enemy similar to the Soul Master before we fought the Soul Master. And this might be one of those. I'm gonna check. So, what did we just fight? What did we just fight? I have to get to the Soul Sanctum part of this. Yeah, a soul warrior. I think we had fought one of those before. So now we finished the journal entry for the soul warriors. Great. Before I go in there, I'm going to ask whether there's a secret up here. Doesn't look like there is. So let's go in. What have we discovered? <laughs> Examine closely. Sure. We have angered it. Oh, it's probably an upgrade to a spell. The Shade Soul. That's awesome. That's an upgrade to the Vengeful Spirit. Woo. And we open a door. So, I have been absolutely delighted by what we've done in this episode so far. Now, let's learn how to travel. Huh? Oh, I just have to hold the Y button down. If I hold it a long time, then I travel. Did that... Why is it showing how many... Why did it show me how much essence I had? It didn't cost me essence, right? That would be interesting if it cost me one essence to do that. Or, you know, whatever amount of essence it, it would have cost. Where are we going? So... Ooh, I think that is one of the enemies we need to defeat more of for the Hunter's Journal. So, I'm trying to be thorough. The mind still limits us so. How to break past these constraints. 
to attain a pure focus, is it even possible? Guess there's not really anything to do here. Nope. Because it mentioned focusing soul, I thought to focus soul next to it to see if that activated it somehow. Don't see anything new over there. This used to be a room with an enemy. I kind of feel like the top of that was something that we broke through. Yeah, I think we broke through that before. And now I just hopped through it because I can traverse higher with my jumps now. Anything over here? Well, there's always more enemies. I haven't seen any walls or floors that I could break. Let's keep going up. This enemy is a little bit annoying to fight, just because he moves around so much. Alright, while I'm going, let me try to talk about a little bit more things from last time. So, one of the things to say is that I broke both of my fragile tar charms last time, almost immediately, very early on in the last episode. And I say both because I only have two. Divine ate my third one. It was eaten by the devilish divine, as it were. I thought that she would want to eat my, my remaining two. And I was wrong. She didn't care to do that. Instead, she talked to me a little bit about the, the person down below that gave me those charms, which she's referring to the curator for the delicate curiosities there. And she also asked me to pay her a ridiculous 15,000 money for some gift which means that she doesn't understand what a gift is, the Cretan. My next steps there are either to talk to the curator for the delicate curiosities or pay her that 15,000, which I'm not excited about at all. I'm hoping it's not both of those. I'm hoping that we can get around paying the money by visiting the Curator for Delicate Curiosities and somehow, somehow moving that plot forward. But we'll see. We'll get there. I think that I'm going backward through this area that I had been to before. Ooh, and there's the Soul Master. There's the Soul Master. There's a bench pretty far back. It's kind of unfortunate because it'd be nice to change out my charms a little bit. So I dropped all the way down here. Really just looking for any secrets that might be around. Definitely don't see any. So let's go let's go up. There is a stagway to the left of us, and I'm kind of hoping that there's a secret wall 
that enters into that stagway. And that way we can get to a bench that's close to the Soul Master. That would be basically right above us, probably. Still gonna check down here, though. Yeah, let's go right above us and see if there's a secret wall that leads to the stagway. Jeez, these enemies appear so fast and right where I'm standing. Don't see anything. And this is kind of right where I would expect there to be such a secret. So let's keep going up. Hmm, still nothing there. Still nothing there. Still looks like there's nothing over there. Darn. In that case, I guess we just go with what I have on right now, which is still a good set of charms. Once, once I've fought the Soul Master a couple times, I might want to switch out which charms I'm wearing anyway, and that would best be done once I experience the battle and have a better idea of what what charms to bring out. Kind of just exploring the area a little bit right now. So don't really see anything. This is where we fought the Soul Master the first part of the Soul Master fight. So below us should be his body. Yep. Okay, let me heal up before I hit it. And bring on the Soul... I don't know what you'd call him. What's the opposite of the Soul Master? Or what's the hard version of a Soul Master? can't really say a word that is above master, right? The soul tyrant. Okay. He seems bigger, right? Okay. That looks a little bit harder to dodge. But on the other hand, it does... Oh, man. Okay, I am dodging a few things. Darn. This is probably a good time to heal, so I'm going to take the time. Okay. So, I think that that's a good time to heal. Let's heal. I healed twice and I got hit once, so it's a positive effect. Didn't have enough soul to heal that time, and I got hit twice. Not the best. Well, I dodged everything, but I was trying to hit him. So let's... oh darn. Let's heal. I wonder if this hard version will also have two sections. Oh man. Let's try to heal at least once. Exactly once, as it were. Okay, I can jump through that. I should not get hit against that. Good time to heal, though. 
Oh man, I'm getting hit at too many different moves of his. Oh man. Heal? Alright, we got through phase one. That's pretty good for the first attempt, right? Ooh, barely dodged that one. These appear to be moving faster. Heal once. Alright, let's hit him. And then heal. Heal once. Great. Alright, I'm starting to get the hang of this one. Also, my little Grim Child is really helping here, because he's putting hits on him when I have to dodge. I probably would not have thought to use the Grim Child in one of these battles, but the amount of times that you have to dodge to survive means that using a Grim Child is kind of nice because you still get hits on him while, he, while you're dodging. The quick fo focus would be nice, though, because right now I'm able to heal, but I'm just able to heal. And putting a little bit more time would mean I could heal twice, maybe, or I could more effectively heal once. So. Whoa. <laughs> That's the first time I got hit by that one, right? Okay, so he does have a second phase. Darn. Holy cow. He just hit me several times. Okay, what does he do now? This is a good time to hit him, but I need to find a time to heal. That's not it. Well. I think that went quite well for my first attempt. What charms am I wearing? So I like the Grim Child. These two charms are doing nothing for me. This charm is doing nothing for me. The Soul Catcher and the Long Nail are great. Wearing three charms that are doing nothing for me makes me want to go back to the bench and change out charms. So, let's go back to the bench. Uh, why didn't I... travel? What? Does it require soul? If it requires soul, I can just go get more soul. There's just these packs of soul over here. What? Well, that's disappointing. Why doesn't it work? Oh, maybe, maybe it didn't work because I was standing in a boss arena. Even though I'd already defeated the boss, it was still a boss arena. And so you can't, you can't use it to get out of boss arenas. So, up here is the bench. We're going to put on some battle charms. So, firstly... Oops. Took off too much. So, I like the Grim Child. What else do I like? I like the Quick Focus. And that fills it up. Alright. That was easy. Fast forward friend here to tell you about my favorite animal starting with the letter F, which is, by the way, my favorite letter. The falcon. The falcon is the fastest animal on earth, easily beating the cheetah. The cheetah has to run on the ground. If you want real speed, take to the skies. Falcons are such great animals that we have a special word for people who train them. It isn't like dog trainer where you take the name of the animal and add trainer to the end. We call these esteemed professionals 
falconers. And while we're on the letter F, honorable mention to flamingos. Flamingos are cool. Back to my buddy CC. All right. Let's do it again. I feel oddly confident about this one. I just made it so far on the first attempt. The Soul Tyrant. Oh man, preemptive strike by our little our little grim child. Let's heal. That's a good time to heal. And we should use our time to heal. Heal. So. Great. This is going exactly how I want it to go so far. Whoops. I dashed into him. Not the most effective. Ho oh, ho, I still managed to jump over it. Great. Go, little grim child. You can hit him. Um, there he goes. Got a couple hits there. I don't need to heal. I can't think of a spell that would be great against him. He just zips around too much for any of my spells to be that great. I think. So when I'm full, I don't really have anything to do with my soul. Ho ho! I am doing much too well at dodging those. Okay, phase two. Phase two is just like phase one. Phase three is where it gets crazy. Darn. Heal. I only healed once because I wasn't sure. Even though I have the quick focus, I started the heal late, so I wasn't sure that I would be able to do two. Okay. I'm still not great at making sure that the little projectiles that he shoots actually hit the ground. Here we go. Heal thrice. Yes. So we're fully healthy. And we're on phase two. After fighting the Grim Master, which had five phases that I had to complete, I've kind of come under the assumption that all of these hard battles have five phases. So... That's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting five phases, and we're on phase two right now. Oh, can't hit me. So now for phase three. And he hit me already. Oh my gosh. I think the Grim Child hit him at least once, though. So that's positive. When do I heal in this part of the battle? Because it doesn't seem like that's a good time. And that was not a good time. I mean, I could go with the don't get hit idea, but that seems a little bit too much. Darn, I tried to heal there. When do I heal? Well, I heal here, definitely. Oh, he only had three phases? Oh, I did it! In my dreams I could see it. The kingdom's salvation, the cure for the plague. The answer was in the soul that animates our bodies. But the king, why? He opposed everything I did. 
His jealousy, his madness. By standing against me, he robbed me of my immortality. Now the king and his kingdom are dead, but I will live forever. Uh, by the way, dude, you're actually dead, so you're not going to live forever. Whoa, we just got 300, which is enough to get to the next level for the Moth Seer on its own. That's, that's crazy. So we can unlock another thing at the Moth Seer now. Now, I know where I am right now, at least, and that did actually use one essence. Huh. wonder if I should use that more sparingly, because it uses essence. I mean, we do get essence from just defeating enemies, so it shouldn't be too concerning. And, you know, we're collecting thousands of essence. Or maybe, maybe I should say hundreds. I went in here because I didn't recognize those little things, but now I see what it was. Go down. Is there anywhere else in the soul sanctum I'd like to go? I think I just basically went through it. So let's go back to the Watcher Spire next. And I don't know exactly where we are. I am not sure how much I actually use the what is it called? The compass? The wayward compass, that's right. I'm not sure how much I actually rely on it, but based on what I just did, I rely on it quite a lot. What is this? Gone out to clear my head. We'll be back soon. If you have something you absolutely must sell, come find me in Fountain Square. Oh, that's the Collector Companion. We're all the way down there. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to go that far down, but I guess I did. Oh man, there's an elevator with spikes on, because you can't have elevators without spikes on top. It doesn't match the historical architecture. Since they're in a historic district, they have to match the architecture. What am I doing in the miserable downpour? I'm having a good time, sir. <laughs> we didn't... We'd appreciate the fountain more. You know what would make me appreciate this fountain more? A bench. A bench would appreciate the fountain. So the plaque mentions the night sacrifice. Huh. Interesting. So that is a knight. I had previously assumed it was the queen. Or the princess. But that is depicting a knight. Man, I'm, I want to find a bench. So in order to find a bench, I should go straight up and slightly to the left. Let's put on the wayward compass again. So that I can tell where I am and you can tell where I am. I don't remember which ones of these we still have to collect the Hunter's Journal on, but I think there's at least one. So, we're looking for a bench. And I'm not planning to save an exit yet. Oh, I remember this. I want to go up. I don't actually want to fight this guy. There we go. Oh no. There we go. 
going to the bench. And then we'll go to the Watcher's Tower, where there's a secret that I know of. Now, I don't need the Quick Focus right now. I like the Wayward Compass. Always like the Gathering Swarm. And then, instead of doing the Long Nail, let's do the Mark of Pride. The super long nail. Great. So, Watcher's Tower is directly above me. Keep going up. Heal on the elevator. This doesn't lead anywhere, does it? Nope. Keep going up. And then here... ...is where the secret is. Where does this go? What? I'm breaking something in that room. What did that accomplish? It destroyed one of the Watcher Knights? Is that like a way to make the fight easier? Huh. So... There's no reason to go up here once you've already defeated the Watcher's Knights. It's just a nice little thing for you to find before you defeat them. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I don't have any more reason to be up here. I don't think I have a reason to be up here. Yeah, I don't think so. So, where are we going next? We go back down, and there is a place in the city near Kingdom's Edge that we have not been. So I'm going to go there, and then after exploring there a little bit, we'll end this episode. And do more... probably more Kingdom's Edge next time. I'm going to beat this elevator down. Ho oh, ho, it could have crushed me, but it stopped instead. Good safety feature on an elevator. An elevator that you also put spikes on, so your, your safety record is questionable. The screen shook in a weird way right then. I was confused by it. Hopefully you were not as well. So, we're going to the right. Avoiding that elevator spike. And then... Going across this room. <laughs> that tiny little platform stopped me. So, the King's Station. My station. It's very nice. I might as well save here. While we're around. There we go. And let me, let me mention a little bit more about things that happened last time while I'm walking. So I fought and beat the Master of the Grim Troop. And that is one of the things that emboldened, emboldened me to try out the harder Soul Master fight. 
which I also just won, so that's kind of cool. And I really like how useful the... And, and here's the new area, by the way. I really like how useful the quick focus charm was in that fight. Um... Why... Why are all the doors closed? That's disappointing. The doors are closed? Alright, I guess we're going to go to Kingdom's Edge in this video. So I'm gonna go... up and to the left, I think. Let's check out the bigger map. Wait a minute, how do I go up in Kingdom's Edge? I see... I see the Col Colosseum of Fools marked on my map. I wonder if that's where I fight the Gladiator Tisu. Well, let's go to Kingdom's Edge and see if we can find a way to do anything there. And actually, I'm also going to put this on my map because, you know, what do we do there? Did we complete anything on the map? No, because I, I never put the Watcher thing on my map. There's also some of the Kingdom's Edge that I haven't been down. Down into the left. Oh gosh, that was a terrible attempt to avoid damage. So, in Kingdom's Edge, I want to try going up first. So, over here, we can't just get into that room because of the... because of the boiling water. But it looks like if I go to that room from the other side, I can go up. So let's try doing that. We We get to visit the Hopper land. I like the hoppers. They're fun. These guys are terrible though. They shoot three times. Don't like them shooting three times. Trying to figure out where I'm going, but there's a whole bunch of hoppers. So I want to go basically up. Go to the right, up, and then left. We'll heal a couple times while we have the time. So, up. Up here. And then we're going left. This leads up here. There we go. I guess I also mentioned that because of the the Grim Master, I assumed all of the hard boss battles had five phases. And that was proven wrong by the Soul Master battle we just fought. It only had three phases. So I guess they're not all slogs of a battle. The Grim Master was kind of a slog, to be honest. So, I want to go up in this room. I'm not sure if I've ever been up in this room. Visiting all the crevices, of course. Just in case there's something interesting to find. Oh man, there's a money stump. That means that I have not been up here. Wonderful. So we're in a new place within the kingdom's edge. Whoa, what's this? 
<laughs> Am I supposed to do something with this? Is this a character? And this is like the lower part of the character? I have no idea. Let's go above that to see if we can find out more about why there was a secret area there. Oh gosh. I feel like I almost fell very far. To the left of me is an interesting place that we should go, but I want to go up. Well, I completed the Hunter's Journal for those guys. Ooh, blue butterflies. There's another one of these, which gives me blue faces. Three blue faces. Wonderful. Aside from just increasing my health temporarily, I wonder if blue faces do anything else. I have not discovered anything else. And the increase of my health temporarily doesn't do a whole lot for me. You can tell because I have already lost one of the blue faces. There goes another one. That is not a secret area. Okay, so... Let's go to the right first. There's definitely something above me that I can't get to right now. Maybe we can get to it going to the left side. There he is. Bardoon. I'm a tiny thing, and I climbed high. I seek the knowledge of these lands. The ashen place is grave of worm, once told it came to die. But what is death for that ancient being? More transformation, methinks. This failed kingdom is product of the being spawned from that event. How interesting. So I... Is it you bothering about my tail? Yes, it was. Rest is somewhat disturbed, but I find that sensation not unpleasant. I wonder if I woke him up. Oops. I, I missed what he said there. The fallen ash is molt, the worm's corpse decaying endless. Mm, serene, sad. With its light gone, the world is smaller. I am not a worm. Too small I am. Too many limbs. No foresight like the, those old things. For quiet retreat did I climb up here, away from spitting creatures. Yes, high up, away from simple minds lost to light. Theirs is a different kind of unity, rejection of the worm's attempt at order. I resist the light's allure, union it may offer, but also a mind bereft of thought. To instinct alone a bug is reduced. Sounds like the enemies I've been fighting. Be on your way, then. It's rest I'll return to, though in these times sleep oft proves uneasy. Okay, that appears to be all. But I think I woke him up by hitting his tail. So let's go to the exit to the left into that other room. And at this point, I definitely need to find a bench to save at. Whoa. I think 
I think that was the result of the Grim Child hitting that enemy. So I'm higher up in this room than I've been before. I'm gonna try going this way. Ooh, a money stump. Great. Whoa. That looks like a secret, but it's not. It's just a little cubby hole. So I'm going to go down this way and connect to the City of Tears. Tower of Love. Oh, a new area. A locked padded door. Uh, that's, that's not a grub. Weird. There was nothing inside that. So can I open the door? Yes, there we go. So I've opened the doors, now I can access the Tower of Love. But I need a key. Alright, I'm going to go to the bench, save, and then next time there's a little bit more in the Kingdom's Edge to explore. And I think I'm going to try to do that first next time. And maybe even fight the Gladiator Tiso. That's all for next time. Oh gosh, I just changed a thing that I did not intend to change. There we go. In this episode, we found a new area, the Tower of Love, and a new character. Also, I collected 300 Essence. I went down 3 Essence as well, but I'm only counting what we went up. I'm counting what I collected, not what I've spent. If you'd like to see a detailed tracking sheet, there's a link in my video description. New videos every Sunday, and thanks for watching.